Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be showing you how we get rid of this old mailbox and we put in a new one. So when we moved in here, they had the standard mailbox. The problem is we discovered someone was actually stealing our mail a couple of days ago. Thankfully, nothing important in there, just junk mail. So joke is on them. But we really wanna get rid of this mailbox that's just not secure and put in a new one. So we got one on order, it's coming in tomorrow, but today we need to put in the post and dig the hole and get it cemented in so it's ready for the mailbox tomorrow. So to get started, we're gonna measure the old mailbox and see how high it is off the ground so we can make the new one match that height. This one is at 36 inches off the ground and we're gonna want an additional 24 inches in the ground with the cement for a total of five feet uh, for a board length. Now we're gonna be using a four by four board that's been uh, pressure treated and already colored and everything so it's really easy. Uh, we're gonna cut this down to five feet and then we're gonna start digging the hole. So to dig this hole, uh, we have our auger here. We actually got this auger on Amazon. This has been really helpful and it works really well out here in this dirt. Uh, this is fairly inexpensive for an auger, but it's one of the better rated ones we could find on Amazon. And it was about $250 or so, and it came with an eight inch bit that's on it right now. So we're gonna go ahead and put the hole basically like a foot and a half to the right side of this old mailbox. We're gonna get this started, dig that hole. We're gonna dig it about what we think is about two feet, and then we'll measure it to make sure it's the right height. So the most accurate way we're gonna measure if it's to the right depth is, make sure you got a good uh, measuring spot on the ground. We're gonna measure up two feet on the board here uh, with our tape measure and pencil, and then sink the board in to see how it fits. Well, it's not perfect, but there's some resistance on the bottom of the auger, like it's hitting something, and I honestly I don't want to dig into like our power lines or our uh, you know internet lines or anything like that. So we're gonna make this do as is. It'll just be a few inches taller than the uh, previous mailbox. So we're gonna go ahead and get our level. So what I have here for concrete, this is uh, basically fast set concrete. So what it does is you pour it in the hole dry, and then you add water to it after it's in the hole. It's just easier to work. And even when it's dry, you can kind of level out your post really easily and uh, get it set. And then you just add water to it. In this case, we got a bucket here with some water. We can refill and add more as we need. So let's get the uh, concrete put in here. Now that the uh, concrete is in there, at least dry form, we're gonna make sure that this is nice and straight up and down. Because it should stay uh, pretty stable if you move it. So now that that's good, all you have to do is add water to this. We got a bucket here. It may take a couple of them, but we'll get it done. So this process may take a few minutes. It's important that you don't put too much water in because it's just gonna overflow. You want it to be able to sink down slowly and percolate down into that dry cement that's below. And that may take a few moments. That's why it's also important not to fill up with cement up to the very top of the hole. You want there to be a little ring so it contains the water. The other thing that can help in this process, is if you have a long, thin shovel, kind of like this one here, you can kind of just penetrate into the, that dry cement, kind of just move it around a little bit, and uh, you can get that water deeper down into the dry stuff. So I'm gonna let this sit for a few more minutes, and then uh, what I might do is just add a little bit of the dry cement here to the top, and then we'll let it sit for a day, and we'll come back tomorrow and we'll put the mailbox on top. If you get a little bit too much water, no big deal. It should evaporate as well as get soaked into the surrounding dirt and the concrete. So let that sit for a day and we'll come back and put the mailbox on top. All right, so it's the next day. The post is nice and dry and solid and we got our mailbox in. So 
what I did is I took, uh, basically there's a template in the bottom of it. I went ahead and uh, basically transferred on the whole locations to a piece of paper. And then it actually comes with a drill bit and the screws that you're going to put in the top here. And then I'm going to lay it over uh, the post and just basically drill right through the paper to get the holes for the uh, bolts. Now that those holes are started, let's go ahead and go all the way down. So I'm gonna go get our mailbox and put it on, but then basically there are just these bolts that are gonna go uh, with our uh, wrench and put inside and just wrench down, pretty simple. All right, this mailbox is significantly beefier than the last one. So if you can see inside of here, there are a bunch of these holes and these four middle holes are where those bolts are gonna match up with the holes we drilled in the post. So I'm gonna get my four bolts out and uh, get them ready. I'm just gonna hand tighten them into the holes to begin with, just so we get everything in place and then I'll use my wrench. So they're just started. So now I'm gonna take my wrench, in this case, um, I'm using a 13 millimeter socket on there and I'm just gonna get them tightened down. I wish I could use my driver on this, but it just wouldn't fit in here. So I got one down, so now at least it's semi-stable. So we'll get the other three. This is taking forever, but I'm on the last one. It sucks because it's just a, such a small space to be using a, a, a socket wrench, but oh well. All right, so that's all done. Last thing I have to do is put on this plastic sheet protector thing. Um, this is what I use for a template to make the drill holes uh, into the uh, uh, wood post. But what this basically does is sits on the bottom of the mailbox and protects the mail from basically the bottom of the box. As you can see there, this it covers up the uh, the bolts that are in there so that it doesn't make contact with all the, the mail. And close it up and I'll lock it. Pretty awesome. So this mailbox is actually really great because it's got a couple of features in it that are nice. First of all, the mailman can come through uh, and open it up and deposit his mail through here and then it's nice and secured inside the box. No one can actually reach in and get the mail and steal it out. Um, if you have mail that needs to go out, all you have to do is put up a little flag as normal uh, and then on the tab here, there's a little uh, like clip and it kind of holds the mail in so that the postal uh, worker can just uh, grab it when he opens it. When you get mail, it gets deposited inside there. You get your key. If I can open this, turn it. And then your mail will just be sitting right inside here and you can pick it up and then you close and lock it. That's it. So the other thing I'll mention here is make sure that you take down your other mailbox like this one right here, uh, just so that there's no confusion by the postal worker when they do come by to uh, drop off your mail the next day. So that's basically it. Um, all in all, uh, the longest part was just waiting for the concrete to dry, but uh, actual work, maybe 20 minutes or so tops, not bad. So if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, uh, go ahead and put them in the comments below and I'll get back to you. Otherwise, thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you next time. Thank you guys for watching. We appreciate it. If you haven't already, please consider clicking on the subscribe link below. Also, we have the video that YouTube recommends for you down here to your left, as well as our most recent video to your right.